All right, Brandon, thank you. Right now, we want to get to some breaking news just into the local board newsroom. Andrew Brown Jr.'s family has just released the results of an independent autopsy. Attorneys for the family of the black man who was shot and killed by deputies in North Carolina say that the autopsy shows that he was shot five times, including a shot to the back of his head. We now know because we have not been able to get any official documentation concerning this shooting that this, in fact, was a fatal wound to the back of Mr. Brown's head as he was leaving the site trying to evade being shot at by these particular law enforcement officers who we believe did nothing but a straight out execution by shooting him in the back of his head as he was trying to get away in a moving vehicle, which no doubt is also against police practice to shoot into a moving vehicle to a person who posed no threat whatsoever to the officers then and there on the scene. The 42-year-old Brown was shot and killed Wednesday when deputies were trying to serve a search warrant. On Monday, Brown's family and their attorneys say they were only allowed to view 20 seconds of body camera video for the incident. There are ongoing calls now for all body camera footage to be released to the public. Turning our attention now to the coronavirus, we are expecting new state case numbers this afternoon. We've just learned that the city of Southfield would host a candlelight vigil to pay respects to those who lost their lives due to COVID-19. That'll happen on the front lawn of the Southfield Municipal Campus on Evergreen Road, and it's scheduled for May 11th at 8 p.m. It will include a reading of the names of community members who have passed away. Nationally, the United States has passed 32,126,000 coronavirus cases.